गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ इज सुमित एंड टूडे विल बी डूइंग द फर्स्ट चैप्टर द लिविंग वर्ल्ड इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी बेसिकली टॉक अबाउट सम इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट एंड डिस्कस अबाउट वट लिविंग इज ऑल अबाउट एंड वट इज लाइफ इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी टॉक अबाउट लाइफ इज द समीशन ऑफ न्यूक्लिक एसिड प्रोटीन्स एंड कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड द न्यूक्लिक एसिड इंक्लूड्स द डी एन ए आर एन ए while protein is the basic building block of life for the energy source we use carbohydrate and by the metabolism of carbohydrate usable energy in the form of atp is generated in today's lecture will be talking about the characteristics of living or characters of life when we are talking about the characteristics of living or characters of life there are some characters which belonging to living organisms which are the basis of living which are the basis of life these include the first one is that all living organisms grow of what is the meaning of grow in this all living organism grow means increase in mass increase in number these two increase in mass and increase in number together constitute the growth this one is called growth in plants by cell division plants can increase in their number of cells or animal can increase their number of cells in their body cell division is usually of two main types mitosis and meiosis cell division cell division is of either of mitosis or meiosis mitosis cell division takes place in the body cells while the meiosis cell division takes place in reproductive cells for the formation of gametes during sexual reproduction the chromosome number will become half of the parental cell and in such cases meiosis cell division takes place so meiosis cell division usually takes place during the formation of gametes and as we know that gametes are haploid in number haploid in their chromosome number so meiosis is a type of cell division in which the chromosome number remain half of the parental cell while the main cell division mitosis takes place in all the growing cells even each multicellular individual each multicellular plants and animals grow in their size grow in their number of cells grow in their body organization due to mitosis it means from a single cell a multicellular organism is formed by mitosis cell division and during mitosis cell division 
the daughter cells formed have the equal number of chromosome as of the parental cell so this one is the first character of all living organisms that all living organisms grow either in mass or in number or both the second characters of living include reproduction character reproducting character so reproduction is also a characteristic of living organism if we are talking about reproduction reproduction is usually the production of progeny possessing features similar to those of parents as we know that every individual have the ability have the tendency to produce the offspring of similar type reproduction is usually of many types it include vegetative asexual and sexual reproduction vegetative reproduction in which any part of a organism will directly develop into a new individual like in case of rose a cutting of rose from the cutting of rose a new rose plant can form asexual reproduction is usually by spores there are many types of spore like jew spores aplano spores jew spores are always motile aplano spores are always non motile spores the spores are produced within a specific cell called sporangia so if jew spores are formed the cell is called jew sporangia aplano spores are formed the cell is called aplano sporangia sometimes the spores are produced outside the sporangia or outside any cell these spores are called these spores are called exogenous spores and when this spores are produced inside the cell they are called endogenous spores the third type of reproduction which is the most common type of reproduction is sexual reproduction and during sexual reproduction we always need two types of gamete one is called male gamete and other is called female gamete these two gametes are produced by meiosis cell division and after their production they two get fused to form a diploid zygote and from this zygote the new individual can form by mitosis division so reproduction is also a basic characteristics of living the third and a very important character is metabolism as we know that all living organisms are made up of chemicals of various classes various sizes various functions and these chemicals made and change into some other living molecules or biomolecules and for the formation of these living molecules or biologic biomolecules some chemical reactions are required and these chemical reactions are called metabolic reactions so metabolism is the sum total of all the chemical reactions occurring in our body metabolism or metabolic reactions are of two types one is called catabolic and other is called anabolic catabolic reactions include jab bhi koi ek molecule koi chemical molecule body ke andar breakdown hota hai smaller components mein ek koi complex molecule hai 
कोई कॉम्प्लेक्स मॉलिक्यूल है ये ब्रेक डाउन हुआ सिंपल मॉलिक्यूल्स में कुछ सिंपल मॉलिक्यूल्स में तो दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड कैटाबॉलिक एनाबॉलिक इसके अगेंस्ट जब ये सिंपल मॉलिक्यूल्स आपस में जुड़कर कोई एक न्यू मॉलिक्यूल बनाते हैं सो सच रिएक्शन आर कॉल्ड एनाबॉलिक तो एनाबॉलिक में कई सारे सिंपल मॉलिक्यूल्स जुड़ के एक कॉम्प्लेक्स मॉलिक्यूल बनाते हैं और कैटाबॉलिक में कोई कॉम्प्लेक्स मॉलिक्यूल टूटता है और एक और कुछ सिंपल मॉलिक्यूल्स बनाता है सो दिस वन इज नोन एज मेटाबॉलिज्म नो नॉन लिविंग ऑब्जेक्ट एक्सिबिट्स मेटाबॉलिज्म द नेक्स्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ लिविंग इज सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द बॉडी एज वी नो दैट द सेल इज द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल बेसिस ऑफ लाइफ इट मीन्स ईच लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म इज मेड अप ऑफ वन और मैनी सेल्स लाइक इन यूनिसेलर इंडिविजुअल अ सिंगल सेल इज अ सिंगल लाइफ और अ सिंगल इंडिविजुअल और इन अ मल्टी सेलर इंडिविजुअल मैनी ऑफ द सेल्स टूगेदर कंस्टिट्यूट अ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म सो द मेटाबॉलिक रिएक्शन ऑल्सो टेक्स प्लेस विद इन दीज सेल्स ईच सेल contains some cell organelles like nucleus endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria etc in eukaryotic cells while in prokaryotic cells these cell organelles are usually absent the nucleus if pre the nucleus present but they do not contain any nuclear membrane the only cell organelle which is present in both eukaryotes and prokaryote is usually ribosome and nucleus the next one the next point and the last point is consciousness it is usually a defining property of living organism what the meaning of consciousness is aware of their surrounding and ability to sense and responds against the external stimuli consciousness <clears throat> is the ability to sense their surrounding or environment and also to respond to these environmental stimuli the stimuli may be physical chemical or biological we sense these stimuli through our sense organs like our skin like our eyes nose tongue etc plants also respond to external factors like light in class 9th or 10th you read about the phototropic photonestic movement so plant also respond to the light the roots of plant grow towards water temperature etc photoperiod affect the reproduction in seasonal breeder all organisms therefore are aware of their surrounding human being is the only organism who is aware of himself also so human uh, being is self conscious human being is self conscious 
self consciousness is there when it comes to human beings it is more difficult to define the living state we observe that the patient lying in coma in hospitals virtually supported by machines which replace the heart and lungs and also other organs like kidney in coma condition the individual the or living individual is usually brain dead the brain is not working at all so the individual do not sense anything but still it he is not dead he was not dead he is living so whole soul the biology is usually the story of life on earth it is the story of living organisms on earth and the link between the living organisms and it also include the living procedures living processes so this is all about the today's lecture thank you so much